Good morning, dear hearts. Lesson eight. My mind is preoccupied with past thoughts. A few things in this lesson that I, I want to highlight. One, in the very beginning, it it uh, hints to us, it, it's the first introduction to a major concept in the course that the thought always comes first. It says in the very beginning, this idea, of course, the reason why you see only the past, no one really sees anything because we're preoccupied with past thoughts. He sees only his thoughts projected outward. That is going to be something that we will come to recognize and know and study and have that realization that it's always my thought that comes first. And so I'm preoccupied with past thoughts because that's what is cluttering up my mind. There's another great line in here, well, <laughs> that I want to mention, and it says the one holy true thought one can hold about the past is it is not here. It is not here. It is not here now. The past is gone. But so many of us live and stay in the past. You know, those glory years, those thoughts about what could have happened if I had married the, um, the football captain. What could have happened if I had changed my major in college? What could have happened if I went down this road instead of that? My mind is preoccupied with past thoughts that actually mean nothing because they're gone. Now this idea, this, this lesson, it brings to mind the idea of mindfulness, which is again, just like that um, mindfulness, I was first introduced to it through John Kabat-Zinn, but it brings to us the, this idea that I, the only time I have is now, and I can bring myself into the now if I am mindful of this moment. If I do not allow my thoughts to waver and to, to go into other places, if I have a steady mind, that would be a trained mind, which as the Course has told us that right now, we've been working with one that is untrained. So we are working to train our minds into being currently, uh, to be completely present here, to be in the current moment, not to be anywhere else, not to wander off down old roads. Um, the lessons are to be done today with your eyes closed because it says we don't really see anything to begin with. And um, then to see what thoughts do we uh, see within our mind. We want to create a, a blank, an open space where we can truly be present and to know and to hear and to be in stillness and mindfulness. Um, and the lesson says, I seem to be thinking about. Well, this will help us when we close our eyes. If we had our eyes open, we could be distracted by very many things that we um, perceive around us. And I just want to give you a, a, a practical uh, example of this lesson. I, I, my mind is preoccupied with past thoughts. And have you ever been in a conversation with someone and they start to talk, but you stop listening? and your mind wanders off into something else, another place, another conversation, another person. And when they stop talking and it's your turn to speak, you have no idea what they just said because your mind has been preoccupied with past thoughts. It's been preoccupied with things that are not currently here now for you. So. This, uh, this lesson and many others will help us to strengthen our mind, to train our mind, to be in this moment, which is the moment that offers the most possibilities for us. It's infinite possibilities in this moment, but I have to recognize it and I have to be here now. Um, please subscribe. I don't think I said it at the beginning. And please comment and please like and please watch till the end you probably already have if you're hearing this and please be here tomorrow namaste